Hey folks, wanted to talk to you briefly today about how you can use uh, Teams and your Power BI email subscriptions to better collaborate with folks in your organization. So we recently rolled out uh, the ability to subscribe any user with any email address to a report that you host in Power BI. Now this is assuming you're using dedicated or premium capacity, but you can use any email address you want, Gmail, Outlook, things like that. Now the great thing about this is you can also use the email address for a Teams channel to subscribe that Teams channel to content. So for those of you who are using Teams, and I know a lot of people are using Teams today that essentially hadn't been using before, this is a really neat trick where you can actually take your report and get it right there in the Teams channel, and then you can actually interact with it with other folks. And uh, I'm gonna show you one specific thing you can do if you're using an Office format. So if I Alt-Tab over to my Teams channel, so you see I have my subscription blog post channel in my team. And so I'm gonna go into the ellipsis here and I'm gonna get the email address. So I choose the email address and you see it's this fairly lengthy item here. I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna alt tab back to my report. And now I'm gonna subscribe that email address to this report. So I'm gonna hit subscribe and now I can add a new subscription and I'm gonna change this to Excel. And the reason I wanna do that, you'll see here in a moment, but I'm gonna just subscribe the email address here. So you see here, uh, all my addresses and there and today's today's daily report here's the latest on this garage sale so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this to weekly and I'll have it run at 11.30. Now, I don't need to provide access to the report, but I could if I wanted to include the link to it. But I really just, all I want to do is just get the attachment there. So I'm actually going to take out each of these items because they're optional. And I'll leave the default end date here because, again, just doing this. So if I save and close this, what I would now be getting is that mail in the channel. Uh, at 11.30 each day uh, during the week. Now, if I just want to, for the purposes of this blog, uh, for this video, just quickly run this. I'll hit run now. Sending the subscription to all users. So you'll see here that the mail subscription showed up and I had a quick uh, problem with the headset there, but this mail subscription showed up and then you see that it actually has, here's the daily report. You can see the original email, but it has the actual attachment here. And as I was stating, you have here the files themselves, and then a, an email messages folder shows up, and you actually would see in there that's actually housing them. And it, is, it appends this unique identifier to each file, so you don't uh, potentially have an issue where you're overwriting the file each time. Uh, but you have this now, you can manage this all here. But in the posts, what's really great about this, so the reason I chose Excel is if I click on this, it actually allows me to interact with the Excel right here in my browser. So I can collaborate with all my team and I can actually go and edit it. So this is really just to prevent somebody from going and uh, it's a security thing so it doesn't open right in edit mode. But if I want to edit it, I can flip over to that mode real quick and then I can quickly just make the changes I need to accordingly with my report. So maybe you need to add comments or other items to your particular report. That way you can do this, save it. It's then just part of your channel and it's also part of the, uh, the files that are in the channel as well. So again, great way to actually use your Power BI subscriptions to interact with Teams. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks very much.